Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. For years here at Spark Fun, we've tried to pay attention to the wants and needs of all of you out there. Sometimes we come pretty close. Sometimes we get it half right. Sometimes not so much. Uh, the problem, of course, is that there are way more of you than there are of us. And no matter how many product or project ideas we can come up with, we can't come close to matching the multitude of configurations that all of you envision. That's why we've decided to let you come up with your own configurations with the new SparkFun MicroMod Modular Interface Ecosystem. A MicroMod is a series of processor boards and carrier boards. I think of the processor boards as the brain and the carrier boards as the body. Choose the processor board that you want with the carrier that you need, put them together, and voila! And of course, if you want to try a different processor board, simply pop that out, pop in a new one, and try that. Now, the boards connect using the M.2 protocol, and if you've ever added memory to your computer, you're familiar with this. The keyed connection makes it impossible to insert the processor board incorrectly. Now, we currently have three processor boards and four carrier boards. Come on, let's take a look at them. Leveraging the ultra-powerful Artemis module, the SparkFun MicroMod Artemis processor is the brain board of your dreams. With a Cortex-M4F with BLE 5.0 running up to 96 MHz and with a power draw of less than 5 mW, the M.2 MicroMod connector allows you to plug into any of the MicroMod carrier boards. Need to put it in our machine learning carrier board? Perfect choice, as the Artemis module is spec'd to run TensorFlow Lite using only 6 microamps per MHz. We've routed two I2C buses, 8 GPIO, dedicated digital analog and PWM pins, multiple SPI as well as quad SPI, and Bluetooth to boot. You really can't go wrong with this processor. The MicroMod ESP32 processor board combines Espressif's ESP32 with our M.2 connector interface to bring a processor board with reliable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities into our MicroMod ecosystem. The ESP32 includes a laundry list of functionality, including the dual-core Tensilica LX6 microprocessor, 240 MHz clock frequency, 520 kilobyte internal SRAM, integrated Wi-Fi transceiver, integrated dual-mode Bluetooth, and hardware-accelerated encryption. With this MicroMod processor board, you have access to eight general-use I.O. pins, dedicated analog, digital, and PWM pins, as well as all the fan favorites, SPI, I2C, UART, and SDIO. Add to that 16 megabytes flash storage and a sleep current of around 500 microamps, and you've got a perfect storm of versatility. With a 32-bit ARM Cortex M4F MCU, the SparkFun MicroMod SAMD51 processor board is a really powerful microcontroller packaged on a really small board. The AT SAMD51 J20 utilizes a 32-bit ARM Cortex M4 processor with floating point unit, running up to 120 megahertz, up to one megabyte of flash memory, up to 256K of SRAM with ECC, up to six CIRCOM interfaces, and other features. The MicroMod SAMD51 even comes flashed with the same convenient UF2 bootloader as the SAMD51 Thing Plus and the Redboard Turbo. The SparkFun MicroMod Data Logging Carrier Board offers a highly customizable, low-power data logging platform to use with the MicroMod Processor Board of your choice. The Data Logging Carrier Board breaks out connections for I2C via a quick connector or standard 0.1-inch spaced PTH pins along with SPI and serial UART connections for logging data from peripheral devices using those communication protocols. It also features a charging circuit for single-cell lithium-ion batteries along with a separate RTC battery backup circuit to maintain power to a real-time clock circuit on your processor board. The MicroMod Machine Learning Carrier Board combines some of the features of our SparkFun Edge Board and SparkFun Artemis boards but allows you the freedom to explore with any processor in the MicroMod lineup without the need for a central computer or web connection. This board features two MEMS microphones with an operational amplifier, an STLIS2DH12 3-axis accelerometer on its own I2C bus, a connector to interface to an OV7670 camera sold separately, and quick connector. A modern USB-C connector makes programming easy, and we've exposed the JTAG connector for more advanced users who prefer to use the power and speed of professional tools. We've even added a convenient jumper to measure current consumption for low-power testing. Access all the pins of the MicroMod processor boards with the SparkFun MicroMod ATP Carrier Board. This board breaks out the MicroMod processor board's pins on the M.2 connector to 0.1-inch spaced female headers and PTH pads on the edge of the board. This carrier board is great if you're interested in testing out different MicroMod processor boards for your application. A modern USB-C connector makes programming easy. In addition to the pins broken out, two separate quick-enabled I2C ports allow you to easily daisy-chain quick-enabled devices. We've exposed the SWD pins for more advanced users who prefer to use the power and speed of professional tools. 
A USB-A connector is provided for processor boards that have USB host support. A backup battery is provided for processor boards with RTC. If you need a lot of GPO with a simple to program, ready for market module, the ATP is the fix you need. We've even added a convenient jumper to measure the current consumption for low power testing. The SparkFun MicroMod input and display carrier board is a great way to add data and input visibility to your MicroMod project. This carrier board combines a 2.4 inch TFT display, six addressable LEDs, onboard voltage regulator, a six pin IO connector, and micro SD slot with the M.2 pin connector slot so that it can be used with compatible processor boards in our MicroMod ecosystem. We've also populated this carrier board with Atmel's ATtiny84 with eight kilobits of programmable flash. This little guy is pre-programmed to communicate with a processor over I2C to read button presses. This is our initial launch, but even now we're working on more carrier boards and processor boards. Still, we might not be thinking what you're thinking. That's why we also offer the MicroMod DIY Carrier Kit, which includes five M.2 connectors, screws, and standoffs so that you can get all the special parts you may need to make your own carrier boards. Then jump on over to our Designing with MicroMod tutorial page. This tutorial will lead you through everything you'll need to do to create your own processor board or carrier board, or both. Our aim here is to make rapid prototyping and development simpler so that engineers and developers, you know, all of you, can run your designs through multiple configurations without having to swap out shields or hats or change boards or entire setups. And with our ever-growing line of quick sensor and accessory boards, you can put together billions of combinations. Seriously, billions. We did the math. Uh, we may have not considered some factors when figuring out all that math, but still, it's a lot. So to find the cheapest or lowest power solution to your project using the processor you want and the peripherals you want, you're gonna to wanna to start digging into the new SparkFun MicroMod ecosystem. With the MicroMod Artemis processor board, the MicroMod ESP32 processor board, and the MicroMod SAMD51 processor board, along with the MicroMod data logging carrier board, the MicroMod machine learning carrier board, the MicroMod ATP carrier board, or the MicroMod input and display carrier board, your next project will turn out exactly the way you envisioned it. Pick up all of them over at sparkfun.com, and as always, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Our aim here is to make rapid develop, rapid prototyping. Okay, good start, good start. Allow rapid prototyping and development. Just to not allow, of course you can make it, just to make it simpler. It's allowed already. <laughs> Once more, maybe twice more. Oh, I almost started with hi there, Spark fans. <laughs> Three boards. You can create billions of themes, billions. Get them all over at SparkFun.